Hello everyone, we are here at Chicago Marriott Lincolnshire Resort today and we are very excited to show you the newly transformed rooms at the resort and we have G Chicago Marriott Lincolnshire Resort General Manager Eric Bates here and then we also have the Gettys Group Senior Project Designer Laura Kay here to give you a walkthrough. Thank you both for being here this afternoon. You know what, let's start off, we're going to do a quick scan of the room. As you can see here, we are in a room that has a lovely patio and an exquisite view of the lake. All right, so Eric, as we give viewers a quick scan of the room, sure. can you give us a quick overview of the space and tell us some of the most important features that guests are seeking in their hotel room experience? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. So today's travelers obviously are looking for three important things, and that's quiet, comfort, a great place to, to work and connect both personally and professionally to whether uh, business applications, personal applications, and this room gives them all of that. That's great. And Laura, mm -hmm. what are some of the primary inspirations behind this lovely room here at Lincolnshire? Well, everything we've tried to do for the entire project is just open everything up. You know, it was originally built in the 1970s. There was different architecture style. So there's some things in here that maybe not might not be quite noticeable, but we did in a completely new custom uh, window system for all of the guest rooms. Also, this over here behind you is the new um, VTAC units that were installed in the rooms to replace the louder PTAC units that were inside the guest rooms. And then we just really looked for the overall project concept, which was Metro Village, trying to incorporate you know, some of the history of the village of Lincolnshire, as well as what kind of brought the suburb to life, which was early train transportation and then um, highways and cars and that type of thing. So that's great. Taking into consideration a lot of history in the area as well as guest comfort. Well, while we're right here, let's talk a little bit about this workspace. So we see there's a lot of space. Obviously, we they have a great view pretty much anywhere they're staying. So Eric, um, you know, what are some guests seeking in workspaces and how do we incorporate that here? Sure. Well, that's changed as well. So Marriott actually surveyed over 5,000 guests and followed them around in their travels to see how they use the room, particularly from a workspace perspective. And what we found is that the workspace now has been very transformational. People don't necessarily want to work at a desk, a fixed desk, all the time. We're much more mobile than we've used to be. So working at this desk is great. Some people like to work at a stationary desk like this. Behind you there's this nice uh, seat table that pulls up either against the bed or against the couch and you can work there. Uh, obviously m with mobile applications you can work right outside on your patio that little table that's there so really the workspace becomes anywhere that the traveler likes it to be and they're able to do that now with all of our mobile technology that's fantastic and a great point you know there are a lot of people that like to be you know mobile and they can access and again just this great view who wouldn't want to sit out here and <laughs> look at the beautiful beautiful Lake Lincolnshire all day so Laura in your design research what led you to choose a couple of these furnishing furnishings for the flexible workspace so one thing we wanted to do you know we talked about earlier opening up the space was again trying to minimize the amount of furniture you know I mean, we've gone from larger size TVs to smaller thinner TVs and so really looking to kind of compartmentalize and streamline that experience for the guests and keep it organized and as Eric said a lot of people don't work at a desk but in our research, we've found that guests still like a desk. They want to have a desk. So a horizontal workspace, you know, whether that's they're sitting at it and working, or they're just spreading out all their devices. They want to see their laptop, they want to see their iPad, they want to see their iPhone, and they want to plug everything in. Great. So that's you know kind of one of the key elements for that, as well as just getting all the functions together in the space. You know, we have a mini fridge underneath here. The coffee service is under there on a pull-out tray, easily for the guests to get it, access it. We have great, um, you know, discrete convenience outlets throughout. That's one thing that we really try to be conscious of is, you know, when you have two USB ports, um, multiple outlets on the desk and on the desk lamp, they're dispersed throughout the room, you know, on the sleeper sofa. What's great about that is we have this ottoman that is mobile, so, you know, it can be pulled away to make it easily accessible for the sleeper sofa, but it serves as acting as kind of a chaise lounge for this area, again, to take advantage of the views outside while still working comfortably with the seat table. That's great. And like I said, I'm just going to give viewers a close up here. You can see there's even those USB um, mm -hmm. plugins that are, you know, super adaptable and very convenient for guests. That's great. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit while we're here at the seating space. Let's, um, you know, what's a little bit different, Eric, about this seating space, you know, as compared to, say, the um, rooms before the transformation? Sure. I think Laura K touched on it a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. and it's a really important point, and that is, We've really streamed down the furnishings. People, if they don't, have, if it doesn't have a function, then it shouldn't be in a room. And the rooms are not cluttered. They're not overstuffed with furniture that's not useful and functional. Mm -hmm. And I think the choices in this room are, you can just see how everything has a function. There's nothing that's superfluous that isn't needed. Um, 
it's a very comfortable room to work in. It feels very spacious and calming. Great, great. So we did touch on it. You touched on some of the great design, Laura, but you know, let's talk a little bit about the tech landscape. I think that's really important for a lot of our viewers and travelers. You know, we've seen a lot of the very convenient outlets and uh, USB ports throughout. Um, but you know, what what is it that the resort has done to accommodate some, um, you know, our tech savvy travelers? Mm -hmm. I can speak to that really well. So in addition to the nine USB outlets in this room, uh, you can't go too far without finding one. There are a whole bevy of technology improvements inside the room, and they all start really with this device right here, right? Our 55-inch flat screen TV from LG. Marriott has a new over-the-set-top entertainment system uh, that actually allows guests to stream their own data, their own programming, whether that's movies that they carry on their laptop or iPads, uh, Netflix, uh, Hulu, YouTube, these things can all be now streamed through this TV. So the best thing about this is today's travelers don't want to order a movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's, they don't want to order a movie and have to pay for a movie. They've got their own entertainment with them. So instead of making someone watch a movie on their iPhone or on their iPad, now it's very effortless to put that information and that data right here on this TV and watch your own data uh, from your hotel room. So, give you an example. If you're a Game of Thrones fanatic like I am, <laughs> I can pick up my Netflix or my yeah my Netflix account at my hotel room right from where I left off at home. So I turn on the TV and it's already right there. It's a really great uh, opportunity for me to pick up free entertainment that I bring with me. That's awesome. And again, like you said, you know, somebody who might want to be comfy working on the bed, but still want to look at their presentation or prep for a meeting that they're hosting downstairs is great. And that's a great point. You know, there are, oh, there are more mobile devices now in the world than there are people. There's 9 billion mobile devices in the world. There's 7.5 billion people in the world. So it's really amazing that we have so many of these devices that it's very possible and conceivable that a guest would want to do work on their laptop while still watching the movie that they're streaming on the TV. So it's great that they can multitask. People nowadays really move fluidly between business and leisure work and back and forth, and that's what today's travelers like. That's awesome. And we just had a comment, um, Karsten K. She said that she loves the new rooms and had a pos an opportunity to stay at one of them a couple weeks ago. She says, great job. So congratulations, right. Laura, yes. Eric, and the uh, Marriott staff. Laura, now let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're seeing a lot of... Um, soothing tones around this room but something that is really striking to myself but our viewers here is the lighting so could you give us a little insight um into the inspiration behind the lighting and the overall decor that you have going on in the sure. room sure so i mean you don't have to walk around on the property very far to see where there's plenty to take inspiration from as far as nature goes i mean we have the des plains river that's nearby we obviously have the body of water on the property itself mm -hmm. there's all the natural forests and things around us so that was the major influence um, for you know the design inspiration in here. I mean the, the accent wall covering that's on the headboard I mean it kind of flows between being a water inspired or a wood inspired You can kind of interpret it however you like um, But again, it's a very nice subtle pattern just adds that bit of artwork to the room that we felt Same thing is kind of reiterated in the carpet, you know again It just has a very overall nice calming kind of pattern uh, reminiscent of water or tree bark um, with the lighting in the room, I mean, obviously we have great natural light in the space, but one of the things we're always going to do in hotel rooms, right, is add more light. It's always dark. So great opportunity in here um, at the new seating group was to come in. We wanted to come in with a pendant, but with renovations, it can be challenging. So mm -hmm. we created this, this um, pendant fixture that gives you the illusion that it's a pendant. And so it gives a nice soft glow to that seating area there. Same thing with the lights at the bed, you know, kind of raising them up a little bit higher than would traditionally be a table lamp allows us to get a nice, you know, glow overall for the bed for that. And what we find with the desk light is that goes away from being more ambient light to be more direct task focused mm -hmm. lighting. Um, again, people wanting to avoid kind of some of the glares and things like that that could be on the TV if they're watching that. Great, great. Again, very soothing just being in here. You almost feel very <laughs> tranquil and calm. Um, as the rest of the resort um, comes through its transformation period, you're going to see a lot of this throughout the resort, which is great. Um, now, we did touch on a little bit um, of storage, but there is a closet. Yes. So, um, you know, again, we're, I'm just going to reiterate, we have a great coffee uh, bar that pulls out here for guests, as well as mini fridge storage. But let's look a little bit um, at this closet. Yeah. Great. So, 
just a, a, you know, most travelers don't unpack nowadays, but the, for those that do, and particularly being a resort, we have a many guests that do unpack. Mm -hmm. We still have the traditional full-size closet that they're able to unpack, unpack into, this nice storage shelf for hiding your bags away if you're here for a few days. Mm -hmm. uh, so really a great feature of the room is this nice uh, closet that we that we kept in the design. That's great. And sleek pocket doors, you know, really Absolutely. ample, mm -hmm. utilizing the space. I think one more thing we're talking about luggage is, you know, yep. we tried to use all of the furniture, like I said before, uh, Laura Kay just spec furniture that was very functional, and, and if it wasn't functional, we didn't use it. This bench, luggage bench, is perfect for setting your luggage on, for unpacking, for leaving it there during your entire stay, or for moving it about and using it as extra seating. So it's got many uses, and it's also a beautiful piece. That's great. And we're making our way to the front of the room once more, but, you know, let's talk a little bit about some bathroom design. <laughs> um, bathroom probably equally as important as the bed and, you know, the workspace. So um, let's give a little bit about um, uh, some insights into the new design factors as well as some of the inspiration. Um, let's start with the shower first. <laughs> sure. I mean, again, as we, you know, kind of keep talking about opening up the whole property, right? You know, so in all of the king rooms, um, those have been transformed to be walk-in showers. And again, taking advantage of the clear glass shower enclosure, but utilizing a barn door feature instead of a swing door. Again, to keep that floor space clear for guests so you're not encroaching upon that floor space um, should you need to be in the shower. And again, coming in just with a nice natural you know, tile surround and a very clean streamlined shower basin with a linear drain. You know, it's just a very clean contemporary look for a guest. It's very easy to walk in and say, yep, housekeeping has been here. This is done. It feels great. That's great. And some of the fixtures that we might have in the front of the sink. I mean, a sure. beautiful mirror. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the other thing too, is you can never have enough mirror space, right? You know, so taking advantage of that, coming in with the, the new light fixture that's in the ceiling, um, really just trying to really brighten up the space um, to give guests as much as possible. And another, you know, um, design element for that is the barn door on the bathroom. So it was a swing door before. This is now a sliding barn door that has the, the translucent glass in it. So again, allowing even more natural light from any of the areas to spill into the other. Natural light, still enough privacy. Mm -hmm. That's great. Very trendy and awesome modern design. Um, you know, we're coming to a close. This room is beautiful. I want to thank you both for being here today. You've given our viewers a lot of fantastic <laughs> insights into the new designs. Um, any last words that you'd like to share with viewers about the new room or the transitioning of the resort in general, Eric? I, I would say if you, if you like the look of the new room, and the room is the most important part of what we do in a hotel business, but if you like the new room, wait till you see the rest of this resort. It's an amazing right. transformation. Laura Case did an unbelievable job of sourcing some of the best uh, furniture and fixtures and design elements and I just can't wait to show you on, on future episodes. That's great. Well, yes. thank you both so much for being here. Viewers, if you'd like to see more behind the scenes look at the rooms and the other transformation of the beautiful Lincolnshire Marriott Resort, please visit the website at chicagomarriottlincolnshireresort.com and also follow our other social channels. We are on Twitter, Instagram at Lincolnshire LS. El Mar Shire Marriott, and uh, we will be broadcasting in a few weeks. We'll see Eric's face again. I'm sure Laura will be here, but please stay tuned in the coming weeks for exciting more updates from the resort. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.